Welcome back guys. In this episode we're going to be heading towards Master Dennett's farm to see if we can't get some horses. So we're going to follow this western road and today we're going to be do th doing things a little bit differently. We're going to play as Cassandra just to keep things interesting. And to show how her abilities work and what sh her role in this is to be. We could make it. We're probably gonna swap around, play as Solus, and maybe some of the other characters at different times. For this episode, we are going to play as Cassandra. There is a quest right here. Dead guy up in the tree stand. And an ocularum. This should be our first ocularum. Who placed the skull out here? And for what purpose? And this thing spot shards. Which we will go and collect. Eventually, they're not super important right now, but the further you get into the game, places will unlock, and eventually will will unlock the ability to go to a place called the Western Approach, and we will use the shards that we collect to open up some doors. It's a really end game area. Look at this. The shards the are apostates have gone mad with kind power. of annoying to I actually see just as many Templars. But eventually it'll be worth it because you can collect some really high level items the more shards that you actually have. It's gonna hook us one of these guys from the front. make them focus on us to attack us because we are the front line we have the most health we're designed to take the hits Let's see if those weapons and armor are a little bit better than what we have one-sided blade it's for level seven so she can't quite use it I'm not sure a common sword okay and it's still not as good as the raider hatchet anyway so we have four raider hatchets we're gonna need to sell some stuff but we found a battle mage cowl requires level nine so both of those are unusable right now i'm just gonna continue on we have this side quest actually beat to actually locate Templar camp along the western road which we are traveling on the western road at the moment
right up here and follow the trail of Templars. Enchanter armor. That could be good on Solus. But it requires level 9. We are not close to level 9 right now. And we found the Templar encampment. The Templars have secured a position ahead. Pick them off one by one. Sneer and block with my shield until my grapple hook comes back up. Pull this guy right up next to it. So I think we want to take that guy out first. Yeah. Like inside this wall here, kind of looks funny. attention. Refugees should there be safer on the King's Road now. We must still deal with the apostates, however. Cleared it out. Swedish fingers. That is pretty strong sword it does 78 damage per second but it also gives us plus 3% attack plus 3% critical damage bonus plus 3 strength and plus 2% sunder on hit so the, the raider hatchet gives us plus 3% sunder on hit but that's about it so we are going to actually equip that We got a rash vine Vitar, but Vitars are only useful on Kunari, which we currently don't have any Kunari in the party. We'll meet one when we go to the Storm Coast, but for now, it's just completely useless. Dagger. We don't have any dudes that are using daggers right now. A lot of chests, armor, and stuff in here. Delving cap and longsword. We already have one of those. An adventurer hat. We have one of those. We have a master adventurer hat or an improved adventurer hat or something like that on. Varric, or on our own character, Varric has an adventurer's hat as well, I believe. Oh, he's wearing the hat of Inqu the Inquisitor. But we did just get a shocking staff. That may be decent. Nope, still not better than what we have on. So we are going to just continue. And it looks like all of our guys have leveled up. So we are going to do those level ups real quick. And in shield, let's see. Shield bash. I think we want to go with Vanguard here. We're gonna go with War Cry because it gives us 20% guard per enemy that gets hit by it, and it's uh, an area of effect. 
so it can hit multiple enemies at a time so we can get a decent amount of shield off with that we're gonna go down here to rejuvenating barrier so it improves the mana or stamina oh shoot gain of any characters that have one of those on we're gonna give him poison weapons just so he, he can just sit there and attack and attack and he'll do extra damage for every attack he has that that ability that gives bonus to subsequent attacks so if you continue to attack the same target you will deal extra damage so we're gonna give him poison weapons just so we follow along the same trend of him doing extra damage the more he attacks without abilities we're just going to continue along the western road here. Claim this bridge. It's my bridge now. Grab this quest real quick. These guys stole something from a place called the Western Fortress. Apparently, they died because of it. So we get to return it for them. Package was lost on the river north of those farms. Follow the river and find it or we'll find you. So there is a package in the river as well. But here we are at Master Dennett's farm. fight with such determination the breach may have driven them mad or perhaps a demon took command of the pack we find ourselves at red cliff farms this must be the horse master Did you believe the Conclave could achieve peace, Cassandra? I had hope, as did we all. The Templars went to war to force mages back into their circles, which the mages would never agree to. What solution could Divine Justinia have offered when all sides rejected compromise? The war was going nowhere for either side. That they went at all showed they realized this. Or they believed the other side would relent. We shall never know now. So you're the Inquisition, eh? Here you're trying to bring order back. It's high time someone did. Never thought it'd be a Haller rider from the Wildlands, though. Name's Dennett. I served Arl Eamon for 30 years as Horsemaster. I hear your Inquisition is looking for mounts. It is. Can you help us? Not at the moment. I can't just send a hundred of the finest horses in Ferelden down the road like you send a letter. Every bandit between here and Haven would be on them like flies on crap. You'll have mounts once I know they won't end up as a cold winter's breakfast. <laughs> so we can agitate this guy. That but sounds more than reasonable. Glad to hear it. My wife Elena manages the farms and Bron's in charge of my guards. They'll tell you what they need. Until then, you deserve something better than whatever knock-kneed plow neck they gave you. The chestnut over there is a purebred Ferelden forder. Take care of him, and he'll take care of you, Inquisition. Okay. So he gives us a personal horse, but if the Inquisition wants horses, then we're going to have to work for them. I heard what my man said. If you want our horses, then we need our farmers back safe in their fields. Since the breach appeared, the wolves have gone mad. They come after our men like beasts with the water sickness. You deal with the wolves. 
and our farmers will be safe again. How are these wolves acting differently from normal? Normal wolves go after livestock, but come at them with a torch and a blade and they run. These beasts, though, it, it's like dark spawn during the blight or when the dead rose to attack us. They're possessed or something like it. I've lost too many men to the beasts. I won't endanger more. Farewell. Good day to you. Okay, so this lady just wants us to take care of the wolf. Wolf problem that they're having. Which is a fair request. The master doesn't want me handing those refugees weapons until they've got any hope of defending themselves. If you put up a few watchtowers, we'd all have more warning before the next attack. You said you had a way to help the refugees. I do. There are too many hills in these parts, good places for raiders and bandits to gather. I've marked good spots on the map. You set up watchtowers there, I'll talk to the master and get your people weapons. Farewell. Okay, and this guy wants some watchtowers. All in all, fair requests from these guys. This is our new horse. This is Master Dennett's daughter. Fancy trying out one of my courses? What kind of racing are you talking about? I set up a course over there with stakes in the ground. It's too narrow to race directly, so I time it with a sand glass. You try to ride the course before I call time. I'll try one of your courses. Wonderful. Get your horse and I'll set up the stakes. You make time, I'll throw in some of the dress money father gave me. Consider it a donation to the Inquisition. All right. So let's hop on up here. This one's pretty easy. There's like three or four races that she actually sets up. And they're all fairly simple. Nicely done. Fancy another race? I'll speak with you later gonna leave that for now and we are going to put trouble with wolves as our primary we go ahead and mount and actually we're gonna look at the quest map real quick just to see if there are any watchtowers okay so there's a watchtower right here which will be on our way we're going to there's one right there, and where is the third one? Hmm. I'm not sure where the third one is. There it is. Okay. So we've got one on the way right there. We're going to go set up this camp right here, and then we'll go deal with the wolves. for every single camp that we set up, which is super nice. And so 
considering how much power you actually need to unlock everything in this game. Whoa. We'll take as much of it as we can get. Now we're going to deal with the wolves. Yeah. like dogs but I mean they're that killing people could be the lair of our strange wolves we don't really have much choice dead the farmers should be safe from the wolves i expect the wolves are also pleased to be free oh guys the are still fighting control. right now. Sturdy Defender male schematic. I'm sure that will be nice to have on Cassandra. Crystal Grace. It's a pretty high tier item right there. We got a grenades belt, but we don't actually have any grenades yet. We'll get that ability before too long. Eh, we left that. Whatever. We can equip the farmland security now. And see where the closest one is. All states in which wood it's right there. Okay. So we should be able to find a way there. Through the back side of this river. Yeah.
ominous name. Gully of the Burnt Men. Yeah. Oh, we should have taken the quest for this guy. This guy is a lost Druffalo. Somebody's prized Druffalo. I'm not exactly sure what the symbol is. <laughs> but it's kind of cool. Amulet of Magic. So we're gonna put that on our man Solus. And we're gonna continue on. Knock out this rift real quick. Queen of Guard Protection. Or Penetration. So we actually want to put that on... Actually, Barrack. We need to get his upgrade oh, arms. That the rebellion the should play out here. And we got the shard. That's what the skull helped you find? Right. There's 22 of them in the hinterlands alone. They get to be kind of annoying to collect pretty quick, but like I said, they have their use.
should be another one. Yep. Another shard right there. Some elf root. And we have another tower marked. We're gonna go ahead and mount up to get to the last one. is going to attack us. If he does enough damage to us while we're on the horseback, he can knock us off. But if we just keep riding right past him, yeah. we shouldn't have any issues. First place, we actually have to go to the war table and perform the watchtowers and the farms operation to get that completed and to get Master Dennis cooperation. It takes a while, so we're just going to go turn in the quest really quick and then go to the war table and come back. around you deal with the wolves and our farmers will be safe again the wolves should be back to normal now they shouldn't be any further trouble that's good to hear I'll send word to the farmers and let my husband know what you've done it may not seem like much but you've given this land hope it desperately needed Thank you. Elena says you got rid of those demon-cursed wolves. Should be safer for our farmers now. The refugees down at the crossroads could use your help. Right now, any food I give those luckless bastards might as well go to the rebel mages or bandits. Talk to my man, Bron. He'll tell you what those folks need to protect themselves. Once that's done, I'll give as I can. I've no problem with charity, long as it's not wasted. Okay. Farewell. So now we are going to go ahead and return to Haven. And then we're going to go to Val Royale to meet with the Chantry. Here we are back at Haven. Kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Captain! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its herald will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. Okay. 
just break this. Mages up and quick. Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. So far, you're the only one who's insisted we can't work together. We might, if your Inquisition would recognize the Chantra's authority. There is no authority until another Divine is chosen. In due time, Andraste will be our guide, not some dazed wanderer on a mountainside. I'll make sure they see reason in Valroyo. I pray you're right. All right. That guy can suck my nuts. The Inquisition cannot remain a reason. If you can't prove, it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked his life to slow the magic of the breach. Master Lavelan, this is the Marquis Durelion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. How does Durelion lend Justinia these lands for pilgrimage? This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. People have been injured. You can't just turn them out onto the snow. And who benefits if they stay? Divine Justinia, Marquis. The Inquisition, not the Chantry, is sheltering the pilgrims who mourn her. Why is the Chantry ignoring the faithful? Because it remains in shock. We face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montilier. The Inquisition might stay in the meantime. Do the Durellions actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durellions are Orlesians. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. His grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas' politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. Okay, we didn't actually come in here for that. We came in here to turn in some research. That will help. Because we have quite a bit of items. And that will help a lot. Fighting the enemies that we got items for. We do have an Inquisition perk, which we will look at them and see which ones we actually want. Underworld knowledge, 50% XP for each codex entry unlocked, so we get 50% more experience points for reading any books that we find. It's really not that great. 5% increase in XP earned from killing foes. That's the one I'm pretty sure we're going to grab, but we're going to look at the other options real quick. Same for 50% for reading books. 10% chance to receive extra herbs. That's not bad either. 
Eagle Eyed grants a significant increase to the discovery range of the searching action, so it'll increase the size of that circle when we search. Same, reading books, Sterling Reputation. Merchants will pay the Inquisition 10% more items, more for items sold to them. Not a big deal. Money in this game is really not a big deal. Uh, here, merchants will offer a 10% discount. Here we can get a shipment of rare and valuable raw materials. That one's not bad either, but another 50%. I don't know why there are four for the exact same thing. This one also is a pretty good one. Tempered flasks, one more potion slot for all party members. That one might be useful later, but for right now it's not too great. Increasing inventory capacity could be pretty good, but we are going to go with the Masashi's method. And we're going to send our dudes on some missions real quick. Got some gold. An amulet of power. So we can go to the Black Emporium. This is a end game shop. A lot of the things in there are really expensive, but really high level. Storm Coast, we're not gonna go there quite yet. Build watchtowers, we need to do this. It takes 45 minutes or an hour. We're definitely gonna go with 45 to minutes. We're gonna put everybody to work. The Bog Unicorn. Oh, this one doesn't take any time at all. At your service. We just get the bog unicorn mount. And we come over to Orlando. This one also takes zero time and gives us another item. So investigate the shards. We're not going to do that quite yet. We are going to address the Chantry in Val Royal. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask him. What can they do? It's just talk. Don't underestimate the power of their words. An angry mob will do you in just as quickly as a blade. I will go with him. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. We go to the capital of Orlay. city still mourns. Just a guest seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Varric. My Lord Herald. You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. 
They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. the people from us? Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are delayed. As you say, my lady. Okay. So I can't talk to her. Got some nice statues here. Stand wary. Pretty city. People of Val Royo, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of a murderer. Well, wonder no more. Behold, the so-called Herald of Andraste claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet. The maker would say no elf in our hour of need. We came here in peace, simply to talk. And this is what you do. I implore you, let us sit down together to deal with the real threat. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. Still yourself. She is beneath us. You're not here to deal with the Inquisition. As if there were any reason to. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet, you should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. If you're not here to help the Chantry, then you just came to make speeches. I came to see what frightens old women so, and to laugh. But Lord Seeker, what if he really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing, and the Inquisition less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago, after Lord Seeker Lambert's death. He was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. It doesn't look like we'll be getting the Templars to help us after all. I wouldn't write them off so quickly. There must be those in the Order who see what he's become. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. 
Okay, so we are going to end this episode here. In the next one, we're going to explore Val Royale a little bit better and meet our next companion. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.